So this is a sheet of uh, 5 8 inch plywood. It's 4 by 8. And I'm going to be using it for the bulkheads. <clears throat> and there's going to be a bulkhead back here. And uh, it's going to have a door, sliding door. And the porta potty will be kind of like right here. And um, this is a piece of cardboard. And the, the liner in the van that came with it has a cargo truck has this um, plastic uh, pattern molded into it and um, I'm gonna try to profile as you can see with this tape I'm profiling the cardboard to use as a pattern to lay out on the plywood and cut it with a jigsaw and then I will use the same edge and reverse it over to the other side for a shorter bulkhead. The outline of the bulkhead that I'm about to cut with the uh, jigsaw and then we're going to see if it fits and probably make some final adjustments on it. Never do that without safety glasses. Now we'll see if my little tape profiles did a good job or not. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a start. I'm going to have to trim off here and there. And it may not exactly hug the exact profile of the wall, but it'll be close enough to where I can um, do an edge on it that covers up the uh, discrepancies. So that's going to be from about here on over the closet porta potty will be right in this area right here and the width of this chair is like the door that slides over and then from the chair to the wall will be a 12 inch uh, or 12 or 13 inch countertop that extends over from my my little kitchen there over to another bulkhead which will be just opposite this one here so that's my quick and uh, dirty review of how to take a really irregular sidewall in your van and make a pattern that profiles that so that you can have a bulkhead that actually conforms to that surface. And I hope this uh, helps somebody. And if it does, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Happy trails.